this collection so much. Hocus Pocus is my favorite Halloween movie and I thought I would do something a bit witchy this year in honor of Hocus Pocus but I totally took it in a completely different direction than your average Halloween collection. You can see that it is done in these beautiful pastel colors and it is such a fun take on this collection. So what's really fun and exciting about this collection for me is that I drew the entire collection in Procreate for the first time. Um, I am really, really awesome at drawing in Illustrator. And so Procreate has always been a, like a why bother <laughs> for me. Like if I'm good at what I do, why change it? But I've always really wanted to figure out how to effectively use Procreate. So I challenged myself with this collection to draw every single thing, including the word art in Procreate. And oh my gosh, it was totally worth it. Of course it took twice as long, but it was totally worth it. So I have not cut up any of the printables from the collection. I literally just walked in the door from Office Depot where I had these printed and it is 5.48, the store goes live at six. Um, and so we are just, we're going full steam ahead with the uncut printables, which actually will make this video a little bit faster for everyone. So this is how I send my papers to um, Office Depot because Office Depot does not print edge to edge. Um, they need a quarter inch border around the outside edges of a eight and a half by 11 paper. So they need this much of an edge. And with my printables um, at full size, the Traveler's Notebook papers only have an eighth of an inch border from this edge to this edge. Um, and so it, they automatically resize and it's just, it's super annoying for me. <laughs> so I, I set up a file for printing at Office Depot that, um, has four Traveler's Notebook size papers on an 11 by 17 sheet of paper. And you can see that this is too big for the camera. So we're just going to have to move back and forth here, um, cause these are uncut. So what we've got is 20 patterned papers. And of course, let me go through my spiel. 20 patterned papers, 10 solid papers. And you can get the patterns in patterned card size, traveler's notebook paper size, and 12 by 12 paper size. The pattern cards come in four by six and three by four in the same package. I print out the four by sixes because obviously you can cut them down the middle and have a three by four. Any pattern that is has a specific orientation um, also comes in the opposite size on the printable sheets. You get every single, um, every single card in the individual files, but on the printable sheets, you don't need to have both if like you can rotate it and it's not going to upset the pattern. So I only include the alternate if you cannot rotate it and have it, you know, work effectively. So anyway, these are the four by six patterned cards for this collection let's look at the traveler's notebook papers so we've got moons and stars on black in those beautiful pastel colors the lightest shades of pastel and then a little scribbled dot and then this one is super fun it's not all of the illustrations because i went to buck wild with illustrations you will see in this collection but it is a lot of the illustrations and art and um and typography from the collection on one paper. And then this cute polka dot is not actually polka dot. If you look at it really close, they're little scalloped circles and some of them have spider webs on them. Next is the floral. I almost didn't draw, but oh my goodness, am I glad that I did. Look at how beautiful it came out. It's got little spider webs in it. All of these flowers are of course hand drawn. We've got pink on pink little X's orange with black um, zigzags, triangles, I guess, and then these fun stars. And you can see that a lot of the illustrations are very, um, I don't want to say cartoony. That's not really the word I'm going to. It almost feels like that pop art style of tattoo that is really, or used to be really popular with the black outlines and the adorable characters. So a lot of the illustrations in this collection have black outlines, which is new and different for me, but works so well for this collection. Speaking of black outlines, here is a green paper with these uh, leaves that I drew. You know, I love a good plaid. 
and then a black and white stripe. And one of my team members asked me today, is it just me or is the black stripe slightly wavy? Yes, it is slightly wavy. It's got a little bit of a wonky feel. Here's some more stars. We've got purple on purple. Oh, and then of course, a great black and white gingham, again with a little bit of a wave. Pink with spider webs. And then two different versions of these witch hats. We've got black with white hats and then multicolored. Just how fun are the colors in this collection? Just so different for a Halloween collection. Speaking of colors, there's that stripe and then a purple floral. Lots of lavender and purple in this collection because you know there's just not enough purple out there. Look at this adorable little cat. He's got two versions in the collection. One is this one and then there's another one where he's an outline. And then here are the solid papers. And then I printed a couple extra of these two patterns because I had some extra space and I didn't want to waste paper. So these are the colors in the collection. We've got green, pink, purple, orange. Like these are all very sherberty colors. And then we've got black and white. So those are the papers in the collection. Let's take a look at the cards. There's two sets of cards. Each set comes with two, uh, no, <laughs> two four by sixes and eight three by fours. So this is card set one. We've got don't hide your magic with this beautiful witch silhouette. Two journaling cards. Um, well, three journaling cards. This one you can cut up for labels if you want, or you can use it as is. And then this one has spider webs, stars in the background, a muck, a muck, a muck. That's what my tattoo says. I get that question a lot. Oh, I hurt myself. Uh, my tattoo is handwritten and it says a muck and my mom and my sister have the exact same tattoo in the exact same place. So together we are a muck, a muck, a muck. Look, <laughs> pretty funny. So a muck, a muck, a muck is a very important phrase in this house. We've got a journaling card with that cool um, doodle paper, but this time black with white doodles. And then the moon made me do it journaling card. Love potion. There's three different potion bottles in the collection. You'll see all of the doodles in a second. Trust your instincts and watch your magic grow with florals. The second set of journaling cards, which please, I put a spell on you. And again, not everything, like this is typography, but a lot of the um, word art in these collections are handwritten by me. So these two are handwritten by me. So it says, which please, I put a spell on you. Then we've got, she stood there, she listened, she heard the names of the stars, which is a quote by Virginia Woolf. I always like to include great quotes in my collections. This one says, yes, hollow queen. <laughs> and then a wee bit wicked. And then another journaling card with the florals because I had to use the florals. And then you're welcome for the earworm. I've been singing this all flipping week, handwritten, both of these by me. Every little thing she does is magic. Choose your earworm. <laughs> this is a journaling card. There's journaling lines on the crystal ball and it says Madame Zelda's Psychic Readings. This says everything's better with a little magic and then it has the cute little colored hats on the bottom. So those are both sets of the journaling cards and the last set of printables I have are the stickers. And so this is how the sticker sheets come when you choose the silhouette version. So these have a little bit of bleed around the outside edge. These silhouette outlines cut these in, make the, everything a little bit um, smaller but it does not come with the silhouette marks already. I put those on before I send them to Office Depot so that I can have them printed at Office Depot and they already have the registration marks on them and I can just send them through my silhouette. So here, there are actually four sheets of stickers. I normally only do three, but there are four this week, same price, because I wanted to include all of the florals and the stars as well. So they needed their own page. Then we've got more illustrations. So here is the bulk of the illustrations. We've got black hat, we've got cauldrons, we've got witches and crystals and feathers and hats and 
teacup with a little tea bag that says RIP on it. We've got bats and moon phases and sage and a sun and a moon, more moons, tarot card, mortar and pestle. Of course, I had to give a little nod to Halloween. So there is a um, pumpkin, crystal ball, coffin, lots of little potion bottles, a candle, just basically anything. And then the other sheet of icons has a few more. We've got spider webs and I, my favorite, my personal favorite, which is brew. We've got the broom. And then my absolute favorite stickers in this collection are these three. This one says basic witch. This one says familiar finding service incorporated. And this one says palm readings, five minutes, $5. Super fun. I love them. Then we've got word art, boo, eek, magic inside, something wicked, witch please. And then we've got so magical, good vibes, broom parking only, be witching, season of the witch, squad goals. And then we got two tags at the bottom that have word art on them. It says this one says moon dust in your lungs, stars in your eyes. You are a child of the cosmos, a ruler of the skies. So you can see that this, um, this collection still has a lot of girl power in it. So if this is like your vibe as a human, which is kind of my vibe as a human too, uh, it will work for you beyond Halloween. There are Halloween sentiments in here, but there's also a lot of girl power sort of woo-woo sentiments too that, you know, if that's your vibe, that works for you. The magic isn't outside of you, darling. You are the magic. Last sheet are all of the journaling spots and word bits. So turns out I'm 100% that witch, which don't kill my vibe. It's October witches, sky above, earth below, peace within. This one, I love the snark in these two. No thanks, Ouija board. I don't even like to talk to the living and y'all gonna make me burn some sage up in here, up in here. <laughs> then look what you made me brew. Some labels. Which way to the candy? Maybe another crystal will help. You are so beautiful. Magic flew from her soul. A wee bit wicked. Tis the season to be witchy. Tricks and treats. Free room rides. Give me some sugar. October 31. I put a spell on you. Head witch in charge. Cheers, witches. And are you a good witch or a bad witch? Also included in this collection is a set of stamps. You guys seem to really love the stamps in the Ex Libris collection. So I've got those included in this collection as well. It consists of all of my hand-drawn icons as well as all of my hand-drawn word art. And you can see there's 50 different stamps. They come in PNG and ABR brush format. Then also is the digital kit and the 12 by 12 papers. So the digital kit is not the same as the sticker sheets. They do not have the same sentiments. Um, there is of course going to be icon overlap between the digital kit and the sticker sheets, but in the digital kit, they are meant to look like digital versions of physical products. So there are puffy stickers, there are glitter stickers, and then there's a lot of photorealistic embellishments too, like ribbons and string and that fun snake and all kinds of things that are different in the digital kit than they are in the printables. So if you buy both, there um, will be a little bit of icon overlap, but not in the same style. And the word art is different as well. So that is it for this collection. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed, and this collection will be on sale all weekend long, this new release weekend for 25% off. I will leave a link in the comment section below. All right, thank you.